What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and in this video we are going to take a look at uh, the chapter 2 of the Doom campaign and uh, specifically for the second lane. So on this lane you can use Spider-Verse characters, you can use uh, Sinister Six, what else can you use? I can't remember. Let's take a look. Okay, Marauders and End. So the End right now is not a good team. The Marauders are okay, but there are only four of them, so you cannot make a full team. So I decided to do something different and use the Sinister Six in order to beat this. Most of the people that will watch this video today, they can use the Symbiotes and it will be a great team in order to beat these lane on the chapter two of the Doom campaign. The problem is that people that will watch this video in the future, the three symbiotes, uh, there are three symbiotes that will not be easily obtainable anytime soon in the future. Symbiote Spider-Man, Anti-Venom and the Scream and also Carnage because he's from the War Store. So there are four characters that are not that easily obtainable and uh, right now Lady Electro, she's not easily obtainable as well but you can bring some other character like Vulture, he'll do just fine. And the characters that I think are like crucial for this node and uh, maybe even make uh, this team better than the symbiotes is to have Green Goblin and uh, Mysterio. Because as you can see there are many characters that apply buffs and uh, you have to get rid of these Merc Lieutenants that uh, activate this device. And because you have all these taunts and defense subs and so on, it might be problematic to get uh, rid of these guys with the symbiotes. Maybe you'll be able to do it easily, depends on how strong they are. Then uh, you have these two X-Force that uh, are problematic as well. But yeah, if uh, you have the symbiotes, use the symbiotes. In case you don't have the symbiotes, then uh, take uh, into consideration the Sinister Six because they are quite powerful. Once again you can use the Marauders but there are only four of them so if uh, you want to complement them with someone else uh, you can do it. You cannot use the other villain mutants so yeah you have to take into consideration that and uh, yeah. <laughs> okay so after getting done with the tanks I decided to go for a Domino because she is applying dodges to the other X-Force characters and I was not sure if there were going to be some more X-Force characters or not but because we want to get uh, as much dispel as possible done to the enemies because of all these tanks, these Merc Riot guards then it's going to be important that she's not around applying dodges to X, uh, X-23 uh, all the time so we get rid of uh, that uh, Merc Lieutenant we still have to get rid of one more. So here you don't have to focus so much on the damage dealers. You want to get rid of the tanks first and uh, then get rid of the problematic characters like uh, X-23. So in terms of priorities, the characters I would consider first the tank, the Merc Riot Guard, then X-23. Then you can uh, take care of uh, Merc Sniper or the Killmongers. One good thing about uh, Lady Electro is that she applies offense down to everyone so that uh, will uh, provide you a lot of sustain. You can uh, get uh, slow and turn rewind with a Vulture. With Shocker you can uh, do more damage and uh, yeah. So you really want to have Green Goblin around and you can also use Symbiotes and use Green Goblin. Maybe you don't have the full Symbiote team but maybe you are very lucky and you got uh, Symbiote Spider-Man so you can use uh, Symbiote Spider-Man and a few of the other Symbiotes and Green Goblin as well and uh, he will also be able to dis dispel the enemies so that was the first node now we are going to take a look at the second node and once again I'm going to use the same team and this team is around 325,000 so it's not like uh, super beefy and that you can just run through everything I have the Dr. Octopus at gear tier 14, 5 uh, yellow stars for red. I have a Lady Electro at uh, gear tier 13 and uh, everyone else is at gear tier 10. I think one of these, maybe Green Goblin is at gear tier 11, but they are not like crazy strong and uh, I think 
recommendations for these nodes are like uh, gear tier 12 and above and at least level, se level 70 my characters three of them are at uh, level seven, uh, 65 so yeah if uh, you have good red stars and if you like this team maybe you should consider at least level 71 and uh, you, you'll it's a good team this team can beat uh, black order so it's a good investment overall okay so now we have one extra character we have mystique to help us out and uh, we are facing baron zemo so because we are not using any minions that's fine we're gonna get rid of uh, baron zemo as soon as we can we also want to get rid of ant-man and wasp ant-man because he applies slow to all of our characters for two turns which is very problematic baron zemo also applies slow so you want to get rid of those guys and uh, you have these crossbones they are going to explode but this team has a nice amount of uh, health and a nice amount of sustain and also a few deflects in case uh, you can uh, use them unfortunately Baron Zemo removes them right away with his passive so you cannot take full advantage of that so as soon as you get rid of uh, Ant-Man you might want to consider focusing on the crossbones especially because they do taunt but when you are done with the towns from crossbones and uh, maybe when you are get uh, rid of them maybe you have you have a little bit more damage than i do and you are able to to finish them off first then you want to go back once again uh, to baron zemo now we have uh, mr fantastic mr fantastic is also a very problematic character you don't want him to be around uh, any other fantastic four characters so I applied slow to him so he doesn't have his turn and uh, he should be your uh, priority now as soon as he spawns and uh, then get rid of Baron Zemo I was trying to combo out uh, and uh, shoot both of them at the same time but it focused on uh, the crossbones instead so we have the last uh, six characters we have Namor we have Invisible Woman so what you want to do here is to get rid uh, or at least make sure that uh, the Hydra Grenadier is slowed enough so he doesn't uh, slow you with his uh, special or with his basic, I can't remember which one. And uh, these, mm, these Hydra snipers, you don't have to worry too much about them, even that they give offense up to everyone and so on, because you have so many characters of the Sinister Six. Green Goblin will be able to remove the offense up from them and uh, then you don't have to worry about uh, the offense up that much you can always apply blind uh, with the uh, Mysterio that will not only call for assist uh, the other Sinister Six members but also apply blind that uh, will prevent some damage so yeah then you just have to clean the house there he was blinded now the special with uh, some extra attacks Green Goblin at a very low level so as you can see like these characters are at gear tier 14, 7 yellow, 4 red, uh, gear, yeah gear tier 14 so you should have them a little bit higher than uh, I have I just wanted to show that this team is really good, really reliable and uh, that you can count on it to beat uh, this line of the chapter 2 of the doom campaign and uh, these videos were all recorded in a row so and it was first try first kill so you can t you can say that uh, the team is very reliable and uh, the, the characters I i'm telling you to focus on to get rid of them are good choices and uh, yeah so you can uh, start farming these nodes as fast as possible this lane is the lane that guarantees you the chance of farming Squirrel Girl, so that's a very important character. She, she's, she'll be useful in the future. Right now she's not super useful because not many people have her at high yellows and also high reds. But I think in the future we'll start to see a lot more play from her as soon as she gets on those higher stats. And uh, she can also counter the Marauders with her team on uh, Alliance Wars offense. So it's something that you have to consider. Because right now the Marauders are like a staple 
in uh, in terms of OS Wars defense. Okay, so finally the last node, we have uh, a few mercs. Merc uh, Lieutenant, you want to get rid of him as fast as possible. Mind control with Mystique, Green Goblin applying defense down to him, so we were able to instantly get uh, rid of uh, Merc Lieutenant before he starts applying offense up uh, and uh, speed up to everyone. If you allow him to do that, it's going to be a huge problem, so that's something you really want to avoid. Now the ultimate with Mysterio, you could also do the special on the on the Merc Sniper and avoid some damage. But because uh, this time we had the deflect from Mysterio on spawn, it was not a huge deal. With the Green Goblin, you can use his special to attack uh, or the Merc Riot Guard because he has buffs, or uh, lay, uh, or Electra whenever she's on stealth. So we are done here. Now the priority target is uh, Taskmaster, you really don't want him to have any of his turns. So slow him as fast as you can, uh, turn and wind him if you are using Vulture. Then uh, the other characters you have to be concerned about is uh, X-23 and the Negasonic, she can also be problematic. So you want to save the Taunt from uh, Rhino as to use as soon as Negasonic does her ultimate. This will allow you to clear all those dead proofs away and uh, that uh, will make sure that uh, Dr. Octopus is able to heal everyone up. So it's going to be extremely important and as you'll see my Lady Electro almost died because of that heal block. But once again Rhino with the Taunt you'll be able to clear it up away. And uh, Hulk is always a problematic character, he does a lot of damage, so you want to use... Uh, or you want to remove the Taunt and ignore him, or you want to use the special from Mysterio and uh, apply a blind uh, to him. So maybe early on uh, just avoid using the, the blind uh, from Mysterio and save it for uh, or Hulk or X-23 whenever she does her ultimate. Or even against Negasonic, and uh, you'll avoid uh, that situation of all those heal blocks. Okay, so now we have uh, Merc Sniper, we are going to get rid of him. And uh, Negasonic, whenever she is without the other X Force members, she's not so problematic, but she is a higher priority over Hulk because Hulk is even slower, and uh, you can slow him even more with. Uh, with the Dr. Octopus or with the Vulture. So yeah, those are the targets that you have to focus and uh, with it uh, you'll be able to farm uh, your beloved uh, Squirrel and uh, yeah, maybe start using it on uh, Ultima 7 or maybe on the beta raids. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this video help you out. The characters you can use, uh, different uh, options which abilities to use in different situations and uh, which targets to focus on first. So hopefully that is helpful. And if it is, you know what? You know that I always ask you to share these videos with your friends in order to help them as well. And yeah, so if you like this video, you know what to do. Smash that like button like a, li like a boss. If uh, you're into my channel, I hope you consider subscribing and uh, yeah. Stay tuned for the last lane of the Doom Chapter 2 and uh, it's going to be Black Order, Power Armor and uh, someone else. So thanks for watching and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later.